Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Tar, and today we are going to do a, a follow-up video from which phase of the moon is the new moon. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. If you didn't get a chance to see my previous video where I touched on the issue of which phase is the only phase of the moon that rules the night, after you finish this video, be sure to go back and watch that one as I kind of, you know, give you some more clues into how we uh, dissect and analyze this topic, right? So let's jump right into it. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 16. And we only really have to deal with one verse for this video because, again, it's going to be short, concise, and to the point. And over time, there will be so many different little videos that come out that just completely um, dissect this topic that you'll be able to make a very informed decision on what you believe right so Genesis chapter 1 verse 16 it says and Yah made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also all right so when we look at the verse do you notice the pattern of the way the Most High brought forth the sun, moon, and stars. All right. So when you look at the verse, we can see that he brought forth the sun first, then the moon, and then the stars. So now let's see if in 2018, this year, that the way people are keeping their calendrical system, that it matches with the pattern that was established in Genesis 1 and 16 all right so let's look at it all right so now if you take a look at this graphic I have on the screen you'll notice something at the very top you'll see the pattern that was established in Genesis 1 16 which is the Sun the moon and the stars now modern day if you are following the uh, first visible crescent doctrine got a question for you or more like an issue that I've noticed all right so according to the followers of the first visible crescent um, for the year 2018 do you did you notice that the first visible crescent came in on March the 17th 2018 now the problem is the vernal equinox occurred on March the 20th and the side real year or the constellation uh, came in on April the 19th all right now do you notice that the pattern does not match how okay. to take a few steps back to go you ain't got the answers man you ain't yeah. got the answers how to take a few steps back to go you ain't got the answers man you ain't got the answers now do you notice that the pattern does not match Genesis chapter 1 verse 16 it's, 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 it's very clear, all right? So, looking at um, the pattern, the vernal equinox, then we would have the moon, then the stars. If you are subscribing to the first visible crescent doctrine, you can clearly see that the pattern is broken based on your doctrine, all right? Secondly, one of the things that I noticed is that the first visible crescent came in on March the 17th, right? And the issue is that the barley didn't come in in Israel until March the 19th, either the 18th or 19th. No matter how it goes, if you started your lunar year or your new year prior to the barley coming in, that's an issue. So what some people did, uh, which I kind of expected other people to do if they were really paying attention and, and uh, you know thinking about making those changes uh, they would have moved their first visible crescent or the start of their calendar back into April the 15th so I noticed one person in particular did that um, and that's 1611 KJV all day so if you if you're listening um, I 
I, I'm pretty sure that's what you did. Um, so I have to give you kudos. You're, I think you're the only person that I noticed that did that. However, there's still an issue with that because you also run into an issue if you start your first of a beep too late. All right. Now I want to give you an opportunity to find out what that issue is. I want you to look into where what error you're going to run into when you start your first of a B too late. Because if you start it too early, you run into the issue of pre uh, commencing your um, first of a B prior to the beginning of the solar year. If you start your first of a B too late, you run into another issue on the towards the end of the um, high holy season right but I'm not gonna give that answer um, in this particular video I'll do it in a follow-up video but I want to give you an opportunity to go and look at uh, the error that you're gonna run into and when you find out that error if you don't mind leave a comment in the description box below and you know some we can look at and, and talk about it you know at your convenience right but also um, I just want to, you know, put this video out to let people know this is not coming from a place of contention, strife, disrespect, or anything of that nature. This is coming from an objective point of view, right? Uh, because the goal is to scrutinize, analyze, and dissect the claims that we say we believe in. So what I'm going to do is also not only am I going, not only have I um, pointed a finger at some issues that I see with the full First Visible Crescent doctrine. I'm also going to put up for scrutiny the calendrical system that I subscribe to, right? And I'm going to open it up for scrutiny to you guys, right? So as you can see, um, the solar year is on starts on the vernal equinox, followed by I subscribe to uh, the full moon as the new moon, right? And that um, the first full moon after the vernal equinox came in occurred on April the 1st. Um, and then, as you can see, the sidereal year was April the 19th. So according to the pattern from Genesis chapter 1, verse 16, the calendrical system that I subscribe to fits into that pattern, all right? Uh, and don't forget, if you subscribe to the dark moon doctrine, right, where you can't even see the moon, um, which I believe the followers of the Enochian calendar subscribe to. Now, mind you, their, um, the, the, the moon that they subscribe to was on March the 15th, which was two days prior to the first visible crescent. So they're not off the hook either. OK, so they have to address how are you starting your dark moon prior to or starting your new year prior to the beginning of a solar year. How to take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. How to take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. Which goes against the pattern of Genesis 1 and uh, verse 16 right because technically we're supposed to be observing um, spring feasts in the spring if you're observing spring feasts in the winter yeah that that doesn't work so uh, again this is gonna be short sweet and I just want to say I want to thank you for tuning in and the next video I'm doing, um, y'all willing, is a, a, a grammatical uh, analysis, a very thorough grammatical analysis of Psalms chapter 81, verse 3. And I mean, I'm, I'm going into extreme detail in this verse because I have noticed uh, an error in the way it's being exegeted by the by the followers of the first visible crescent doctrine um, and it's easy to say it but I plan on showing the error that they're making and it's a grammatical error so um, I hope you like this video if you did hit like share subscribe share this with anybody if you feel like um, I'm in error 
leave a comment. All right. So until next time, I want to say shalom, peace and blessings to you. And um, how to wait, take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. How to wait, take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. How to wait, take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers.